African countries usually fall at the bottom in measuring poverty worldwide. According to the World Bank, the international poverty line refers to those who have less than 1.25 US dollars a day to live. A World Bank report in October 2019 also revealed that poverty rate in Africa has gone down, but the number of people living in poverty has increased. 82% of people living in extreme poverty in Africa live in rural areas and earn very little, usually from farming. And according to the World Poverty Clock by the World Bank, about 28 Ghanaians escape extreme poverty every hour and more than 2.8 million Ghanaians representing about 10% of the population living in extreme poverty. Tina Reports visited a 37-year-old Efia Efotaba at Impurmim, located in the Gomwa district in the central region of Ghana. She's a single mother of six living in poverty. She got divorced when she was five months pregnant with her fifth child. This is where she lives with her four children and she can barely feed herself and her children. <laughs> She mentioned she moved here about a year ago due to her inability to pay for her house rent. According to her, someone gave her this room to stay with her children until she gets a place of her own. The room is not in a good condition and when it rains, it becomes unbearable. <laughs> She's currently putting up this wooden structure. Work is on hold now. As she is unable to raise money to complete it. She must be the yami ye. If you know be our yam puts the same to what in the baby I did not home you. First, no matter if your boy is your own castle, no matter my hair will be down or hot. No, Sabia, time no sooner as him if you will. No, just an own. No, it's ya, but some year three hundred. That's one year. It's in quarter and fence of one year. Effia has been suffering from headache for the past one year. She is a farmer, and ever since it started, she has not been productive. She says she can't even carry full staffs on her head due to the pains. I am a hospital. hospital. her nine-year-old daughter, Malbina, is also suffering from headache and due to this, was unable to attend school today. Her health insurance is expired and her mother cannot afford to take her to the hospital. Her 13-year-old daughter, Rebecca Asabre, just returned from school. She's in primary six and started menstruating three weeks ago. Her mother could not afford sanitary pad and she had to improvise. <laughs> 
Say no, and to my good first son, who is 27 years old, couldn't continue his education after JHS. Her second son, who completed JHS this year with a grade 20, was unable to further his education even in an era of free SHS. They are both farmers at Chifu Praso, but the latter wished to continue school after saving money from farming. Ethia is not the only one living in poverty here in Ghana. Looking at how she's surviving here, her condition may even get worse if help doesn't come anytime soon. Together, through Tina Report, we can help raise money for her hospital bills and also support her acquire a decent home for herself and her children and also support her second son in school.